Good morning, Facebook family. How y'all doing, man? God, dogs. When is Jeep finna get ready for the drive to work kind of early this morning? I ain't even set up yet. But I'm in this car, and I'm going get ready for this drive. Got these kids, man. Today's the kids' day, kiddos' day today. Yes, it's kiddos' day today. And, uh... Got a lot of activities ready for them today. Some of them getting prizes today. They gonna have a chance to win. Yes, yes, yes. How y'all doing this morning? Let me uh get this thing together. God, oh, somebody in here already. Two people in here already. Oh my goodness. Well, I just really love this here, man. Good morning, Vanilla. How you doing? Good morning, girl. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes. I'm trying to get my thing set up. Yeah. How you doing, Vanilla? You all right? Let me turn this camera around. Let's roll, y'all. It's time to get on out of here now. get up early today because today is fun day with the kids girl you know i started this thing with this uh with this new contract we under where i uh do i do substance abuse education during from nine o'clock to eleven o'clock we get 30 minutes i give them 30 minutes of exercise like nfl 30 yes i do and uh then after that, man, I feed them and then they go home. Now, at the same time I'm doing that, I have another component to the program where the families get education on substance use so they can use that education to spot signs that the kid using. Because you know them kids kind of slick. If you don't watch them kids, them kids will get over on you and you'll think they're doing nothing. And the whole time, they they messing up. So we help, we educate the parents and the kids at the same time on Saturdays. And yes, I'm up early. The early bird get the biggest one. Yes, indeed, Vanilla. I am blessed too.
morning, Bridget. How you doing, girl? appreciate you got my back like that. Spoonie G don't know, you know, Spoonie G a single man, you know. And by me being single and concentrating on all these personal goals I have, I don't have time for relationships right now. I mean, I want one, but she got to be extra special because she got to coincide with what I'm trying to get accomplished to benefit both of us. But you know, some, some girls are so selfish and so demanding of time and all that to take away from what I'm trying to do so Spoonie G say well I gotta be by myself till I get it done then maybe me and her can get together or something but hey Bridget and uh, v uh, Vanilla I am so glad y'all are in here this morning watching my back all the way to work cause I gotta stop and get something to eat this morning cause yesterday I was so tired when I got in I slept and got up and took a shower and jumped right back in the ride again. Spoonie G work a lot, y'all. Come on, y'all. This your Saturday. Spectacular Saturday with Spoonie G. Special dedication, dedication to all the ladies out there watching this morning. Hey! I think they got a chill in the air this morning, y'all. What y'all think? Come on. Yeah! Hey! I need your loving arms wrapped around me. I need your love. 
one of those bridges, girl. I need you, girl. If a girl hold me right now, I'll probably just explode. Turn into nothing but pieces of paper. <laughs> pieces of paper, girl. I ain't lying. All I do is work and go and do my schoolwork, y'all. Spoonie G, four classes out from getting his bachelor's degree in, in psychology, y'all. But Spoonie G been on the grind for about five years straight right now. Boy, I tell you, it's crazy, too. But man, I should have listened to my mama a long time ago before she died. She said, boy, don't you get out of Southern University. You better stay there and get that degree. Man, and now I got to wait till I'm a grown man, 50 plus years old, to do what she said do. But ain't that, ain't that hard-headed? <laughs> That's very hard-headed. Hey, y'all, how the election going, man? Uh, I ain't get a chance to look at TV last night. Did, did Biden win or did Trump win? Uh, oh, we don't know. Now, talking about that doggone election, I still ain't figured it out yet. All little candidates that was on that ballot have to wait to be declared a winner, except for the president. The president, all they votes got to get counted, but everybody else on the ticket already got their seat. So, how they did that? You mean tell me that all I had to do was just get on the ticket and, and just win, and I'm gonna be, they ain't got to count my votes. They ain't got to count my votes at all. They just gonna say you won. But the president, they counting all these votes, man. It's crazy, man. How they pull that off? I don't know. Yeah, y'all, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready, girl.
talking to the right one right now. I like that chocolate cookie. <laughs> yeah, the chocolate cookie, the nookie nookie. Yes, indeed, y'all. We all jamming right now with Spoonie G this morning. It's a slow Saturday, but it's a spectacular Saturday. And if you woke up this morning, you're winning. Spoonie G still trying to figure out this election thing. I mean, I really don't understand it. And why it got to be decided on electoral colleges when the people done already spoke? The people done already said who they want, and they still got to go by 270 electoral college votes. I think that needs to change. What about y'all? Yeah. yeah. Come on, girl. Hey. Wait 
in the right places out there this morning. All week long, y'all been doing that eating, that good eating, that good, good eating. Good morning, Nat Noonan. How you doing, girl? Uh, Nat Noonan, um, I might be sending you another package Monday since, you're, since you can't listen to your music like you want to. I'm going to send you another one, and you can tell him you had that one. I'm going to keep the one coming in because the one coming in going to have more songs than the one he got than the one you got the first time. So you might want to uh, let him have it. Because <laughs> I'm going to send you another one this week. Yeah, Monday morning, I'm going to send you another one. Yeah, let me know. morning man god dog man make me want to hit the highway and go drive for about 
four or five hours, man. Let's roll, y'all. We steady rolling. Hey, y'all. This yeah. is Yoda. Yeah. The steady yeah. business, man.
When I get up here to this country store up here where I be getting them grits and eggs at. Hey, good morning, Virginia. How you doing? God, I'm almost at work. You just not getting on here. I can't believe it. Hey, Virginia, you can expect that thing coming this week. I'm going to send it to you this morning. I mean, not this morning, but Monday morning. I'm going to go to the post office. I'm going to send you your upgrade. Then I'm gonna send uh, Nat Nooney. Nat Nooney, old man, then, then took her thing from her and she can't, she mad cause she can't jam none of that music Spoonie G sent her. So Spoonie G gonna send her another one. I'm gonna send her another one. I told her, she ought to just let him have it. Let him keep that. <laughs> cause the one you got gonna have, the one coming gonna have about maybe 175 songs more than what you got on that one. Yeah, so, yeah, tell him you can have that. Tell him have it. You keep it. But you better not touch this one. <laughs> but he going to play the swap game on the white. She going to get in that car one day, and he going to be in the swapped it out. He going to be in the took the, the one, the first one, and put it in her car, and he going to take the one she getting right now. And she going to be saying, something wrong, because I ain't got all my music on this thing. That he done took my music again. Yeah, you gonna have a fight. Cause as soon as he find out you got another one, he gonna wanna know what's on now, and then you gonna have problems. Good morning, Wanda. How you doing? Let me, I'm gonna play this song in memory of George Floyd, y'all. You remember George Floyd? Good morning, Hope. How you doing? You late too? Oh, uh, you remember George Floyd? He said he couldn't breathe. Well, here's a jam that I'm, uh, I got especially for that. It remind me of that, man. So here we go, y'all. Come on. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm going to come get my, uh, my 5% then, Virginia. Since you've been on the money train all night, I need my 5%. Oh. Can you dance to get through my day? 
Got no country cafe in Louisiana, Moanda. This is Texas, girl. Yes, it is. Now look, y'all. I'ma need y'all to watch my back while I go up in there. Let me turn the camera right there, man. Cause um, uh, they ain't got no black folk going to play. But they cook some good grits and eggs and stuff like that. So y'all watch my back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Now watch my back, y'all. Then they got a lot of old people come up to here, so let me put my mask on. Let me put my mask on, y'all.
I'm back, y'all. I'm just waiting on them to fix it. <laughs> I know you got my back, Bridget. You got to watch me. I come sitting in my car because there's no black people go up in this place. I've never seen a black person go up in this place yet. Hey, Monica, how you doing? Good morning, girl. I got everybody watching my back because I go in this place. And they don't never, I don't never see no black people go up in there. And there's all old people up there. And you see that flag sitting up there. So they're all patriots, you know. Let me tell y'all what I saw yesterday when I was going to get lunch yesterday. You know how, the, how you have the big roll uh, bales of hay? Where they had five of them sitting out there. And they had Trump name on all of them painted in blue. And I said to myself, oh, my goodness, they got some loyal Trump supporters over here. I thought you fixed it yourself. Well, look, they, they, the buffet ain't going to open till 7 o'clock, and I ain't waiting till 7 o'clock to come back. So I told them to make it in the back. So they saying that the buffet don't open till 7 o'clock. Now, normally I'll be here at 7 o'clock, but I got out a little early because one of the activities that we're doing today for the one of the activities that we're doing today for the kids is they're gonna play some volleyball, and um, I got to get up here early because I got a couple of kids that dedicated that want to set the volleyball goal up and everything for the activities later on the day. So they gonna meet me at at eight fifteen, eight thirty. So I wanted to get up in the office early to make sure everything's straight because. I got the IOP, that's intensive outpatient, start at nine. Then the SOP joined the IOP group, that's supportive outpatient. Then I have family education at 11 o'clock. And then the kids go outside, they do their activities, and then they come back in. They come back in and I, I buy pizza and we sit down and eat and stuff. And, Chop it up and talk about what we learned that day. So yeah, I got a I got a good little program going right now. I think it's gonna be a model for the uh, surrounding areas. And you know, the hardest thing is to get those kids to come out like that. But right now, I've been batting at about ninety five percent total participation, meaning maybe one or two might might not come, but that's very rare. So they love coming to see Spoonie G because they know Spoonie G going to do it. Today I'm going to do something. I'm going to be um, I'm gonna be a talk show host today because I got a psycho th busy day, very well planned. Yes, indeed. Today I got psychotherapy uh, I'm going to be doing in the form of a talk show. And I'm, I'm going to have some of the kids playing different roles, have an audience, and boy, look. It's going down. Yes, indeed. It's going down. I'm telling you. This is what Spoonie G do, man. I'm. Hey, this is what I do. I love working with the kids. So let. So while I'm sitting in the car, let me let me pump up one of these jams right here. I'm gonna get drunk. If I get drunk tonight. Yeah, girl. If you get drunk. Please. Please hey. make sure I get home. I'm going to make sure you get home, girl. Yeah. Yeah, if you get drunk, girl, Spooky G going to make sure you get home. And you're going to feel good, too. You ain't going to remember what Spooky G did to you. If you get drunk, girl, don't you get drunk with Spooky G. Hey. If I get drunk tonight. I saw them move that curtain when they heard all that bang out here in this parking lot. Because this thing be playing loud. I got, man, look. I got two 12s in the back. I got four eights on the doors. I got two sixes, two super tweeters. And uh, it's pumping pretty hard. So when I play it, it bump. And I know they hear it. He, he moved that curtain just now. So I know. I don't care. Hey. Make sure I get home. Gonna be on. 
you feel better, baby. Please make sure I get home. Hey, look, let me tell you something, Wanda. This is what Spoonie G do every morning. If you're feeling some type of way, you get up in this drive to work in the morning, girl, and you gonna be feeling good. You're gonna be ready, girl. You gonna feel better because this is what we do. And if you get drunk and I take you home, girl, I'm gonna tell you, you ain't gonna remember nothing, but I'm gonna be laying there with a big smile on my face. Virginia probably will run up here right now. So, now she said five or ten minutes, and they ain't did nothing. Now, homeboy over here, let me see if I can move it over there. Y'all can't see him. But the one that just went up in there, he sit outside him. He sit outside. He had American flag face mask on. And, you know, this thing got this big sign up there, y'all. Y'all y'all pay attention to it detail. Look. In my profession, we pay attention to detail. Now he'll <laughs> he'll go he'll go to he'll go to detail. The thing say 1890. So what's been hap What was happening in 1890 that was so special? Do y'all remember? <laughs> y'all know what happened back then? Huh? Now this cafe thing say it's been open since 1890 in this little place I'm in. So. Y'all, if y'all paying attention to detail up in here, y'all scoping the set out right. Y'all should know that with that sign saying 1890, it's saying a lot. <laughs> and then I got, and I'm the only one that come up in here. Woo, woo, boy. I bet they, I bet they be saying, boy, that's a, that's a brave kid right there. Go get the rope. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, I'm still sitting there. She said ten minutes. I don't want to keep playing this music out here because I might stir them up in the wrong way, and I don't. I don't want to stir them up, y'all. So y'all better wait. Y'all better wait till I let me. Let me. Oh, uh, they ought to be ready. I'm going check. When I go check, they're gonna think I'm being pushy though. 
but I'm going to check anyway. So y'all make sure y'all watch my back now. Hey, <laughs> y'all watch my back. Yeah, here I go, y'all. But I'm back, y'all, boy, but y'all ain't going to believe what I'm going to tell y'all right now, man. Oh, look, look, you know, like me, I always pay attention to detail. I've been trained to watch people. And, you know, we call it AFAC. We watch the AFAC of the client when they come in because nonverbal stuff is more important than what they tell you. Okay. Now, I want y'all to remember that. Nonverbal clues are very, very important. They, they're better. They're better, and they tell more than what the person actually say. 
Now I'm sitting down there and y'all saw me at that counter, right? So something said, you know, you just told them 1890. Look on that counter because you've been missing something. Look. And I looked and guess what I saw? I saw a picture of about 15 soldiers with a Nazi swastika flag standing up like they was in a war but they got that 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 Hitler uh, swastika up there and it's a big eight by eight by nine photo black and white oh I said oh my goodness they might they might do me something in here oh my goodness good thing I got the camera rolling I'm telling y'all boy one day I'm gonna take a picture of that thing and I'm gonna show it to y'all y'all think I'm playing <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing, but I'm telling you, it got a Nazi swastika in the inside that place. Wow. Man, let me roll, y'all. Let's jam, y'all, because I, I need some motivation now. Yeah. Work that thing, girl. Hey. Let's work it, girl. Work it, work that body, just work it, work that body. Wanda, all you got to do, girl, is just drop your address in my messenger, and I'm going to send it to you Monday. You'll probably get it by Tuesday or Wednesday, because I sent it priority mail. And uh, Virginia, I got your upgrade coming up this week. Uh, Nat Noonan sent somebody to stole yours. Well, he ain't steal it. He just took it in front of your face. I'm going to send you another one. And uh, Wanda, drop your address, and you'll get yours soon.
when I do groups on Tuesdays and Thursdays virtual, I always like to have supporting documents to prove that the kids are actually doing the work. So I require them to take notes in the group and then they got group activities and stuff like that. But one kid work was so impressive. I went to the store yesterday and this is what I got him, y'all. I got him this for for um, his work was so neat. I mean, it was very clear. You ain't had to strain to understand what he was conveying. Uh, and I brought him this to motivate the rest of them to make their work just as good as his was. What y'all think about that, y'all? That's what he got. Yes, that's what the kid got. I can't tell you his name, but that's what he got. And so I told y'all today, that we're going to be doing uh we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a talk show today and so i told them already in group that the 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 best male and the best female client that act the part the best i got a prize for them too so look what they gonna get look the look what i got for them and y'all see that's apple right there so the best male and the best female gonna get this, you see? Yeah, they gonna get these. Yeah, this is what they gonna get, you know? So they gonna be, they gonna be, boy, look, and they gonna see the Apple thing, cause they all got iPhone. I, they, I ain't seen a kid come through that door with an Android. They ain't saw it. All of them got these iPhones, so they know that the Apple earpods gonna be good for them. And you know them kids, they love iPods, so. Boy, they gonna be going crazy. Yeah. So this is what this is what the kids gonna get today. And um boy, I tell you what, I bet you they gonna be all eager to to um stay participating when they see they get prizes like that. Yeah. And you know, you gotta give the kids some incentive, man. I mean, nah man, you know, hey. If we didn't need a paycheck at the end of the week when we working for somebody, we'd be mad too. <laughs> yeah, you'd be mad too. Hey, y'all, look, let me find my jam. I got to get my motivational song up before I get up in here. Because, boy, look, let me tell you something. I love to get crump on them kids. Boy, them kids know I get crump too. So let me let me put my, my theme song on, girl. Because I love this song, y'all. This is my theme song. Here we go, y'all. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready?
Oh, Bridget, you ought to see what I do for you, girl. You'll love what I do to you, too, girl. And I just realized, girl, you're the woman in all my dreams. All the curves in that body. All the curves in that body, girl. Coming in late. Um, Bridget, you already know what time it is. I mean, but you um you always trying to sidestep a brother, you know, you're always coming up with excuses. You know, you know, I uh but you know I'm a patient man. And yeah, I'm gonna give it to you, girl. You gonna get it. You gonna get it, and next time you jump on this line. All you're going to be doing is throwing up hearts all over the place. You ain't going to never be able to stop touching the heart button the whole time I'm driving this car. Yeah, I just want to just get you prepared. Now, I don't want to scare you off now. I don't want you to get scared. Good morning, Vicky. How you doing, cuz? That's my cuz right there from my daddy's side of the family right there. So, um, Bridget, don't be, don't be afraid. And don't get scared. Cause you know what's going down, but when it happens, I'm telling you, you're gonna be, you're gonna feel like a, a newborn baby. <laughs> Y'all look, man, I gotta get ready to get up on out of here, man, cause I got a lot of setting up to do. You know, we got the social distancing thing going on too. It's seven o'clock, so I had to get up in here. I got to eat my breakfast. Then after I eat my breakfast, then I got to set this place up. Then I got to open up this computer so I could do my group notes and stuff like that at the end of the day. Knock us. Oh, Miss Bonham is in the house. Boy, that, every time I see that name, I say, Nakasaki. <laughs> Nakasaki. Oh, my goodness. Why you got a name like that? You make a brother just wonder why they call you Nakasaki. Oh, Nakasaka. <laughs> Boy, that's a play right there. Look, I, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all some more music now, man, because this uh, Nakasaki thing here, man. God, Nakasaka. Nakasaka. Nak what did the Nakasaka off somebody or something? I don't know what that means. Golly. Oh, I got a number to make, y'all. Y'all know what I did last night? You know, I'm in the middle of writing a 20-page research paper. 
And then I got a reaction paper to write my other class. So I, so I got some of it done, but it's going to take the next two days to get it done. I plan to have it done by Monday evening so I can submit it and get it up out the way. But I went, I, um, what I did was, I, um, I created a YouTube channel. Yes, I did. If you go on YouTube you go and, and put in DJ Spoonie G, you're going to find out he got a, a, a channel. He got a, he got a, a YouTube page. I ain't uploaded none of the videos in it yet, but they told me as soon as I get a thousand views, I can go live on YouTube like I'm doing right here on Facebook. So I'm going to need y'all help. Now, I'm going to tell y'all when y'all go on there, I'm going to put all the videos on now. I'm going to do that sometime tomorrow. I'm going to put about four or five videos in there because everything I do right here, I record it so I can upload it. So, um, yeah, I need y'all to, um, you know, I'm, we're going to try to get that YouTube thing rolling. Uh, let, let jam, I got to play a song for Nakasaki. Yeah, Nakasaki came in here, and I want to throw one at her right now. Talking about, uh, if, if, if you got a name like Nakasaki, then, then I want to see you put the bottom up. If you know what I'm talking about, put the bottom up. Take that booty, Bridget. Take that booty, girl.
All right, y'all, look, man, I did that for Nagasaki because she was sitting down. And I know she was laying down looking at the phone, so I wanted to get the bottom up. But, uh, Bridget, I'm going to call you sometime today after all this over with today because I got two intakes after all these activities. I got to get two more kids in the program. I got two more I got to put in the program, and both of the, the intake process is two hours long. So that's four hours I'm going to burn with two people after everything at 12 o'clock. So when I do get free on my ride home, I'm going to call you, Bridget. Yeah, I'm going to call you, girl. Because you got to stop. We got to, we got to, we got to do this thing and, and, and see where this thing going to go. But I want you to get scared now because everything Spooner G say on this live, he, he back it up. Yeah, I'm a clinician, girl. I can give you the best therapy in the world. I'm licensed, too. <laughs> I am a licensed therapist, clinician. So, yeah, I'm, I'm built for fixing humans. Yeah, I can fix you, too, Bridget James. Ah, oh, you done got quiet now. That's what happens. Hey, y'all, look, man, I got to get up out of here, man. I want y'all to remember the three C's, y'all, the three C's, uh, the three C's. You got to make a choice. You got to take a chance in order to make a change. And you got to always ASAP, y'all, ASAP, A-S-A-P. Always stop and pray, and you always push, P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. With that, I want y'all to know, may God peace and blessing be upon y'all. Spoonie G love everybody who watch and drive and go to work with him every morning. Hey, man, y'all just don't know how y'all make my day, man. Spoonie G love y'all, man. We are family, man. Uh, hey, John, but you, you coming on the back end. You got to go to my page and watch the full video. Yes. And um, here I want to say this too, Nat Noonan, uh, I'm going to send you another thumb drive. You better not let him take this one. If you let him take this one here, you better not tell me nothing else. <laughs> don't, 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 don't be on here talking about, send me another one. He took that in two. And look, you better mark it because he's going to swap on you when he find out you got more music than him. <laughs> hey, Stephanie, you just came in late, girl. I mean, you too late. It's too, you too late, Stephanie. I'm about to go to work. Um, Virginia? I got you too, girl. I'm gonna send you an upgrade this weekend. Um, be ready. I'm gonna hey, be ready for the drive to the post office around nine o'clock Monday morning. With that, y'all, I got to go, man. Spoonie G, love everybody, man. Peace out.